Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maisha LaVey and today I'm gonna be talking about hair growth tips and how you can achieve healthy hair, what will break off your hair and things like that. So basically we're just gonna be talking about hair today and yeah. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, go ahead and keep on watching. This is a very in the moment, spare the moment type of video. I literally just cut on the camera because I'm reading through my comments. You guys know that I reply to all comments and if it's not anything that I can reply to, I make sure that I acknowledge you and hit the love. So go ahead and leave me a comment if you guys have any questions, concerns, anything, I see them. So I was reading comments and I see a couple of people under my videos talking about how long my hair is, I manipulated growth, how I got my hair so long, why my hair breaks off. So I just had to come up on here and clear some things up and just help you guys along the way, along the journey of your hair growth process. So this basically is just gonna be like a tip video on how to grow your hair, what to do when growing your hair, just how to have healthy hair. The biggest thing is not hair growth. You have to have healthy hair. So everyone is like really focusing on actually growing their hair and the length wise when you're not actually thinking about your hair in general because if your hair is not healthy, it's not gonna grow. Okay. Things that you can stop using that will stunt your hair growth is heat. When people think of heat, you're usually thinking about flat urns and curlers, mostly flat urns, but blow dryers, will damage your hair as well because it's extreme heat. You're just holding it on your hair. That's not good for your hair as well. So if you blow dry your hair every time you wash your hair, that is not good. That also can break your hair off. So just stay away from heat. Don't try to blow dry your hair every single time that you wash your hair. Just let it air dry. Natural hair, it tends to like curl up and shrink and it gets very, very nappy. <laughs> So, try to use like stretching techniques to get your hair a little bit stretched out. If you just don't want to deal with it being clumped up, like natural hair, you know, it curls up when it's dry, it's very, very nappy or whatever you want to call it. Just try to use an alternative from blow drying your hair, flat earning your hair, curling your hair, or anything like that to keep your hair curled without having to use heat. A tip that everyone looks over, either they say they're doing it and they're not consistent with it or they just don't do it overall, is scalp massages. Now, I personally, I do scalp massages and I really, really think that it helps with my hair growth. If I'm just sitting somewhere at home and I'm not doing anything, I would just massage my scalp. It takes about two to three minutes to do and I just feel like it works. Before we continue any further, these tips are not in order. As I stated before, I am literally thinking of these off the top of my head. I'm giving y'all real genuine answers, tips to how hair growth works for me, how I grew my hair long, and hopefully it works for you. So the next thing that I want to talk about that everyone should really know about is protective styling. You can have a protective style, you can have your hair in a bun. That's a protective style. But the way that you're doing your protective style is not protecting your hair. So if you're like using really harsh bobby pins, any type of pins, metals that's rubbing against your hair, it's really snatching your hair out. Every strand matters. <laughs> um, rubber bands are too tight. You're breaking your strands off again. Every strand matters. So you just have to focus on how you're protecting your hair and the way that you're protecting your hair. Now, again, with wigs, if you're braiding your hair down and you're not taking care of your hair while it's braided down and you're just leaving it there thinking that your hair is just gonna grow, it's not, you have to, you know, you have to tweak things. Everything is not all laid out front and center. When I say protect the styling, I mean like, not manipulating your hair a lot. We all know that our hair sheds a lot, but the less that you manipulate your hair, the better chance that you have is not shedding. Moisturize your hair. I know my hair was dry. I know it was dry. And I told y'all it was dry. Anyways, moisturize your hair. If your hair is dry, it's going to break off. 
I experienced it. I'm pretty sure you've experienced it because you're watching this video. But if you do not moisturize your hair, then your hair is most likely gonna break off. And you have to pay attention to products you're using. And that's another tip, but I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Sometimes they can just sit on your hair and it may look like it's actually benefiting your hair, but it's really not. Make sure when you are moisturizing your hair, you're using the correct tools. That is another tip that I'm gonna get into. Like I told y'all, this is just coming off the top of my head, but you just wanna make sure that you're actually not causing more tension to your hair that will make it break off. We're losing so much hair because we don't know how to properly care for our hair, um, meaning like combing it, brushing it, and things like this. So we're just a little bit too rough with the hair. Just be gentle. Be gentle with it, sis. Just be gentle. Let's know what's best for you when you're trying to grow your hair or when you're doing anything for yourself. Let's just talk about rice water. My hair grew a lot with rice water. But it was not rice water alone that grew my hair. I was actually taking care of my hair while doing the rice water. So you want to make sure that you actually take care of your hair and yourself. Oh, that's another tip. Okay, I'm just rambling, y'all. Let me... Stay on one subject, LaVe. Stay on one subject. <laughs> just make sure that the products that you are using works for your hair, works for you make sure that you are reading these products and when you're using products and you know you have dry hair use products that tend to your hair hair tools with the different combs and brushes that are out there i know that everybody is on a budget but sometimes you have to spend your money for what you want they're really just trying to get a quick book so make sure that you're just paying attention to everything that you're using and that you're not causing your hair to fall out. It may not even be your hair, it's maybe you. Check yourself. The way that your hair grows, let's just think about it. Your hair grows out of your scalp. So that's internally, correct? I thought so. So you wanna make sure that you're taking care of your internal self. Your body, you wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So you have to drink water, you have to eat healthy. People think that drinking water is just gonna solve all of their problems. No sis, you gotta actually take care of yourself. You have to exercise, but just make sure that you're taking care of your body, you're eating right, you're drinking water, you're exercising and things like that because that takes a big toll on your hair. It's growing out of your scalp. Your body is the first step, so make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Split ends. Cut your ends off. I know when that video I said that I didn't want to cut that heat damage off of my hair. And let me tell y'all. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. I hate cutting my hair. I hate clipping my ends, but we gotta let it go, sis. We can't keep it, we can't keep it. Do not clip too much of your ends, though. So clipping it too often will, it won't stop your hair from growing, but you won't see your hair grow. So if you're clipping off more than it needs to be clipped off, your hair is actually growing, but you ain't seeing it because you're clipping it off. I'm gonna say that through this whole video. Learn your hair know what works best for you because for me i don't really have a routine to how i clip my ends i do it like every five to six months i know that's stretching it but only because when i'm doing my hair if i see an end that needs to be clipped i'm going to clip it if i just see something that's just not sitting right with me i'm going to clip it off i trim my ends periodically i just pay attention to my hair but for sure every five to six months i'm clipping my ends wash your hair sis wash your hair i know everybody is caught up on that myth my mama my grandma got me thinking that dirty hair grows my hair and it does not it maybe do it maybe do just think about it when your hair is dirty it grows faster but you feel like that your hair is the same length so how does it grow faster <laughs> wash your hair wash your hair i had to learn the hard way i used to think that my hair grew faster when it's dirty now for the most part i can't wash my hair too often don't wash it as much if it doesn't work for you but still wash your hair because you got to get all of those dirty oils you have to clean those cuticles and you just need some clean hair 
So don't get caught up on your hair grows dirty. You need to wash your hair. Comment down below and let me know tips and tricks that you guys use when growing your hair. Um, what alternatives do you use from doing this to doing that? Let me know because I'm still in the process too, sis. If you do disagree with anything that I said, comment down below and let me know why. And let me know what you do different. For anybody that watched this video and you just feel like your hair is just not growing and nothing helps your hair, baby, be patient since everything takes time, so don't rush it. Just make sure that you're doing everything right and it will happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.